Hello friends and welcome to The Architecture Enthusiast. The architectural narrative of James Sterling's collaboration with Michael Wilford, which began in the late 1970s and continued after Sterling's death in 1992, marks a significant phase in the evolution of post-war architecture. This period saw a transition from the brutalist tendencies of Sterling's earlier work with James Gowan to a more playful, eclectic, and referential form of postmodernism. Sterling and Wilford's buildings from this era are celebrated for their bold experimentation with form, color, and historical references, creating a unique architectural language that was both innovative and provocative. Neue Staatsgalerie, Stuttgart, 1977-1984, in Stuttgart, Germany, is a seminal work of postmodern architecture. This art gallery is noted for its eclectic style, combining elements of classical architecture with contemporary design. The building is characterized by a series of contrasting spaces and forms, from the rotundas and colonnades that echo classical architecture to the bright green handrails and pink columns that add a touch of whimsy. The gallery's layout encourages a non-linear exploration of art, with its interlocking rooms and open terraces providing a dynamic visitor experience. The integration of a public garden and open-air theater into the gallery's design blurs the boundaries between the museum and the city, inviting public interaction and engagement. Wissenschaftszentrum, Berlin, 1979, is another notable project from this period. The building demonstrates Sterling and Wilford's ability to create a dialogue between a building and its urban context. The facade facing the Kultur form is classical and ordered aligning with the existing urban fabric, while the opposite facade is distinctly modern, with bold colors and geometric forms. This juxtaposition is a physical manifestation of the tension between tradition and modernity, a recurring theme in postmodern architecture. Number 1 Poultry, London, 1986-1997, completed posthumously in London, is a distinctive example of Sterling and Wilford's later work. The building is known for its striking, postmodern facade with bold, candy-colored stripes and an unusual, sloping form. Its design was a subject of much debate, reflecting the controversial nature of postmodern architecture in the late 20th century. The building combines office space, retail units, and a rooftop garden, encapsulating the multifunctional approach that characterized much of Sterling and Wilford's work. The Clore Gallery an extension to the Tate Gallery in London, 1980-1987, is a more subdued example of Sterling and Wilford's approach. Designed to house the Turner Collection, the building is respectful of its Victorian context, using a palette of materials and forms that harmonize with the existing gallery. However, it also features distinctively postmodern elements, such as the playful circular windows and the use of bright color accents. The work of Sterling and Wilford during this period is characterized by a playful and intellectual approach to architecture. They combined historical references with modern design techniques to create buildings that were both a part of and a commentary on their architectural context. Their use of color, pattern, and form broke the mold of the prevailing minimalist aesthetic and opened up new possibilities for architectural expression. In their exploration of postmodernism, Sterling and Wilford challenged the conventional boundaries between past and present, blending the old with the new in a way that was both respectful and irreverent. Their buildings are not just structures but are narrative devices, telling stories about their time, place, and the practice of architecture itself. In each project, Sterling and Wilford's work is characterized by a deep engagement with the building's context, a playful yet thoughtful approach to form and color and a reimagining of classical architectural elements in a contemporary framework. Their buildings function not only as structures but also as narrative devices, communicating with users and surroundings in a visually and intellectually stimulating manner. This attention to detail and context makes their work exemplary in the realm of postmodern architecture.